this video is going to be my first installment of my Christmas looks here on my channel. I really hope you all enjoyed my Halloween series that I recently posted. I had so much fun doing them looks. But now I'm going to go back into the more glamorous side for Christmas and go ultra glam. So today I'm going to be doing a Christmas bauble inspired look that I saw recently on Instagram. I'm going to give credit. Her name is Miss Dior and I will link her down below but she's so so talented. As soon as I saw this I thought I have to give that a try. So I'm going to do my eyebrows first and I'm taking the Pears Transparent Soap. I'm just going to spray some setting spray onto the soap. I'm using the NYX Matte Finish Spray. So you just want to get the soap wet and then run a little spoolie across the soap. Not too, too much. And then taking your little spoolie, I want to brush off the hairs. Just give that a few seconds. And then once you're ready, you can then start shaping it by dragging the tip of the spoolie into the shape you want. So I'm gonna go about here and just gently start pulling that straight across. So now I'm going to move on to my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. This one is in the shade 3.5. So I'm going to take my sponge and just pick up the foundation. And then I'm going to work that straight onto the skin and blend. Now I'm going to be taking the Collection Shearly's Powder. This one is in the shade translucent too so it has a little bit more colouring to it instead of pure white and this is what I'm going to use to set the foundation. So I'm going to take some of the powder and then just start setting the face. I'm taking a big large brush to do this. So next I'm going to be taking the Hoola Benefit Bronzer. This one's really really good but if you do have a lighter complexion I would recommend going for the light one. This one is the regular bronzer, I've already hit pan on it but I really do love this stuff and I'm going to be using this today. And with this there is a mirror inside which is really helpful. I'm just actually going to go ahead and just start contouring my cheekbones and bring it back into the hairline. Okay, so while we're on the face, I'm going to continue and go on to my blush now. I'm going to take the Milani Baked Blush in Dulce Pink, which is like a pinky shimmery blush. It's really pretty. And this is going to go on my apples and my cheeks. And go straight over the cheeks and bring it back into the hairline and blend into the contour. So it's not like a stripe going on, it's like blended into it. But not all the way down here, just like halfway into the contour. And then for my highlighter today, I'm going to take my favourite, which is the Sleek Highlighting Palette Solstice. I think this is called Equinox, but if not, it's this peachy, beautiful, glowy one inside the palette. So I'm going to be taking this one. Taking a fan brush, I'm just going to go over the cheekbones and blend that in. It's actually really grey outside today, but I really wanted to give myself a tan and just feel glowy and pretty again so that's what I've done. I'm also going to put this down the centre of the nose and on the cupid's bow. Now I'm going to take the Max Paint Pot in Painterly for my eye primer and with this primer I'm going to go all over the lid and all the way up to the brow bone. And don't be afraid to bring it all the way into the inner corner of the eye as well and just pat to blend. So now I'm going to take the P. Louise Mama Mitchell Acid Rain Paint in the shade Ibiza. This one's a really pretty purple colour and this is going to go in the crease. And I'm going to take a fluffy brush and just pick up that paint. And I want to keep it nice and rounded because we're doing a Christmas bauble on the eye. So to do that, I'm going to go straight into the crease, round it up, wipe off the brush on a little towel, 
and just blend the edges the little short movements and do the exact same thing on the other side so just keep it nice and round with the brush which should be quite simple if you have like a flat type brush like this you can just kind of stamp it in that shape keep it nice and round so now I'm going to take the Morphe Jacqueline Hill Volume 2 palette and I'm going to take this beautiful purple called Not My Journey and just kind of stamp it in over that pigment base and it's going to really pop and make it stand out even more. I really love purples and I don't get to play with them very much so this is a really beautiful shade. So this is definitely a layering process, you will need to trust it. If you don't trust the process you will end up giving up, which I used to do in the past but I have learned to just go with the flow, see how it looks at the end and once the lashes and mascara and everything added it looks amazing so just trust the process, it looks crazy at first. So once you are happy with the purple placement, now I'm going to go over the very top edge just to blend it a little bit more. So I'm going to go in with this lighter toned purple and I might mix it with this one. So these two here might be mixed together. So this one is Therapy Sesh and Lolly Mama. So I'm picking up Therapy Sesh on a fine tip fluffy brush and with that I'm going right over the edge of the line that we've just done just to blend it ever so slightly and give it like a purpley pinkish haze so next it looks like she's done a silver bauble so that's what I'm going to do next and I'm taking the Illamasqua liquid metal in Surge this is absolutely gorgeous, I love these. I think these are now discontinued, but they do have them in a quad, so I will link that down below. And it has this, a gold, and two other shades, so I will link that one down below. So with this brush, I'm just going to press down on the lid, and as you can see, it's so stunning. And then I'm going to look up really, really high as I can to know where the crease is going to be and then do my rounded cut crease all over the lid. And once you've laid it down in that cut crease motion, I'm then gonna, while it's still wet, use some glitter and pack it on top. This is the Lime Crime Zodiac Glitter in the shade Libra and it's a beautiful purple iridescent glitter so I'm going to press that on top. I'm just going in and I'm just pressing that into the pigment. Now I'm going to move on to my eyebrows and I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Rail Pomade and then with the pomade I'm just going to go in and fill in my eyebrows and just colour them. We already have the shape from the soap brow but I just want to give them a bit more colour by using this pomade. So I'm taking that dark purple we use in that crease again, not my journey, and I'm going to use this underneath the lower lash line and connect it to the top of the eyeshadow. So I'm just kind of pressing that on and then I'm going to connect that to the outer corner here. And then I'm going back in with Therapy Sesh and I'm going to go underneath that purple. So what we use on the lid, I'm going to use now on the inner corner of my eye and take in that liquid metal again. With that liquid metal, I'm just going to pop that on the inner corner of the eye here. It really glows. And then bring it under a little bit, just on the inner corner. Then picking up the glitter and just pop that on top. So now I'm going to move on to the P. Louise Basic Paint and this one's called Winter Rose. And with this, again, I'm going to squeeze it onto the back of my hand. Just need a tiny amount. And with this, I'm going to use the P. Louise Fine Tip Brush and just pick up a small amount of that paint. Now with this paint, I'm going to form the lid of the bauble, if that makes sense, where the connection is. 
I want this to be right in the centre and make like a little rectangle box. So next in the photo it looks like she has a little loop going through the eyebrow which is the string of the bauble so that's what I'm going to do next. Again I'm taking the same liquid metal, I'm going to loop it through. So the first loop I want over the brow and then the one coming up is going to be under the brow if that makes sense. And I'm just doing a line with that pigment. And then lay it flat and come through the brow, so over top of the brow, over the brow. And then the other one, miss the brow and then go underneath. And then connect it. Okay, so the last thing she seems to have done is just line the top, the cut crease and the lid of the bauble. So I'm gonna do that using the P. Louise Bada Black base. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is line the lid and then I'm going to do the cut crease. So the last bit of that bad of black base, I just run that along my waterline. For some reason my camera wasn't filming. And now I want to go ahead and put some mascara on on my top and lower lashes using the Ico Lash Alert Mascara. So now I'm going to move on to my lips and I'm taking this set from Huda Beauty. This is the Liquid Lipstick and Lip Liner in Trendsetter. So I'm going to take the lip liner first and just line the lips. And then I'm going to take the liquid lipstick and fill in my lips. And this is the finished look for my Christmas purple bauble inspired makeup tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a big thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to be notified of all my future videos just like this one. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.